Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We are coming up on almost 5 in the morning. Dawn should be at 5 nowadays. We'll see if that's the case. Everyone's in bed. Edwin's already gotten up. Oh, I'm not running. He's out there gra grabbing wood to build something for me. Did a little uh, redesigning in here. Turns out these smaller tables are able to stack side by side and create a kind of a modular table so that we can put as many seats on as we want. So a little more flexibility that way. That's what I was trying. Thick smoke. Oh, that's new. What I was trying to do with a couple of big tables and it just didn't really work out right. Thick smoke, what are you? A thick column of smoke is rising from a nearby area. Oh, we've got like a forest fire coming or something. Okay. Um, is that obvious yet? Is it there? I guess it's kind of over there. So I guess what they're saying is there's a forest fire somewhere and it's, it's just pummeling us with smoke. So we're probably going to have uh, breathing issues today. Yeah. I tried what I mentioned last time. I think I did. I was just kind of uh, wondering what if I staggered them so that they could all take turns at the table. Now I can fit everybody at the table, but still, I wonder if staggering them like this would have any benefit. I've set it up so that everyone in this bedroom is separate from the rest or something like that so they're not disturbing each other's sleep and got Edmund out of there completely since his sleep pattern is faster than the rest so that he wouldn't despite whatever schedule I put in wake everybody up every time he gets up early which he did this morning so he's going to grab something to eat need someone to bring up the research desk we'll get them both going up here um, temperature wise while everyone's quieted down and not doing anything it's actually kind of mellowing out I think um, where are we 70 79 78 right in front of the fireplace we are 25 outside so it's 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 cold outside as you move away it drops dramatically you know 78 74 69 68 63 58 but around the perimeter we're kind of holding in the 50s what I found was interesting is as it comes through a vent so out in the hallway we're in the 70s and 60s as you come through the vent it drops all the way down to 46 which is cold but you know I guess when you're sleeping with if you had blankets on you'd be okay room not fully in oh there we go 46 degrees but it's constant throughout the entire room so it doesn't keep dropping off as you go further away from the vent which is odd you'd think that the closer you got to the outside walls the colder you would be which is what it's simulating in here so their heat distribution system is not fine-tuned yet and it's not really sure what it wants to do but it uh, it's livable as long as they stay above 21 degrees Paulette's going to be fine so a 47 degree bedroom is not going to set off any alarms on her so just sleeping without a carpet under her bed that's the only thing that's freaking her out right now <laughs> so I guess I'm not going to worry too much about it so this wall doesn't have to be here because I'm making this all one room now and then the hallway is going to eventually be all part of that room too so this wall, the only advantage of having it there is that we can put things on it and up against it. You know, take the door out and put shelving all through here or something. Make them walk into there, though it is a, a long walk around. So that door being there does... Hmm. If the two... Well, no. If the two research desks... Is, I kind of like the two desk idea. One researcher and one writing stories. You always have something available kind of like the idea, idea, idea of them being together, but I guess that doesn't have to be. We could put a desk over here and a desk back over here if we wanted to. That's where they are right now. Hmm. So the wall has the advantage of being able to put things on it. I don't know if they'll let you put a dartboard over this. It doesn't like to share. And I know that with windows, they don't like you to put anything in front of the window because it, unless there's another way to get to the window on the outside. 
Otherwise, if their porch wasn't here, they have to walk up to the window to close it or open it. Comfy bed and woke up and yawnings and lots of noises going on. And all that creaking of the getting out of the bed a moment ago. But everybody got up at pretty much the same time, which is six. I redid when to go to bed because I know 1900 is when they like to start some of the celebrations. That doesn't happen very often. I didn't know that at first, but it really isn't happening very often. So I don't want to dictate their entire schedule around this you know, witching hour of 1900 hours. But I did kick things back further toward it so that those one day a season events could you know, only screw up things one time once in a while. But that meant pushing sleep a little bit earlier all the way through so that brought their relaxation a little bit earlier all the way through. So 6 o'clock was when they finally triggered to go relax. They have another hour in there to do what they want. Let's shift that to here and here. At least for now until we've got breakfast up here. Because they're still going to take a long time to get down there, try to relax, or get something to eat, or go and sit, or whatever they're going to do. And Paulette's just kind of walking. She doesn't know what to do. Because she doesn't need to relax. She doesn't really need to relax. She doesn't really need to eat. Um, Paulette, could you transport a research desk? I'd really appreciate that. Thank you. Otherwise, Edmund's already down here eating. <laughs> well, they got to go build the new table. I have, have to give it that. Anyway, thick smoke. And it went away. Okay, that was a momentary thing. What were you trying to tell us, game? Is that just an ominous sign of something to come? Thick smoke in a in a column off in the distance and then it's gone I don't know what that meant hmm um, the last two times we had bug attacks didn't they come in at around 8 in the morning and then hit us at 2 if 8 in the morning nothing has happened let's think about something I could send off another expedition. I think we're one. Oh, oh, oh. Thick smoke is an expedition. Oh. Something crash landed. Is that what you're trying to say? Or that looks like a volcano or... Well, I don't know. Oh, it's an expedition. I didn't quite get that. Hey, I can see our house from here. <laughs> Anyway, um, run. So, 8 o'clock, we could do that. Or we could go play with some bugs over there. I don't know. How are we kind of doing? Let's take a, uh, grab something to eat. Carter is not eating. Carter, where are you right now? You are going to go move a wooden chair. You're already doing it? You are. Why don't you grab some food? Uh, grab some meat soup. Paulette, you are moving the desk like I told you to. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, that's right. It doesn't actually move it until you've got it there. Otherwise, she's just carrying a simulation. If she stops in the middle, it reverts all the way back to here. Okay. But since you're here, you may as well go and grab a veggie soup who else needs food right now you're good you are good you're fine Kana could she is where at the moment transporting she's doing the furnaces and we're probably out of chairs by that point and Umar you are gonna need something too you are where are you there you are you are eating okay too many words piled in there all right, so Kana's the only one that's not 100% right now. 8 o'clock came. No, boom, boom, no bug attack alert. Doesn't mean it has to be at 8 a.m., but that seems to be the uh, common trigger lately. So maybe we should go off on some kind of an adventure today. Um, 
drinking. Okay, drinking coffee. Do we have tea yet? Uh, right here we do. We have 28 tea. How do we have 28 tea? Wait a minute here. I was just like wanting a few at a time. Smoke leaf tea. Oh, that wasn't an until. It was five or six times. Okay, let's try that again. Until we have ten. Okay. Um, so we have lots of tea. Does tea spoil? Uh, I can't do that from here. You're on this bench? Yeah. Tea, 100%. Coffee is still at 100%. So that stuff... Under a roof is indefinite. Oh. And under a roof is indefinite for these guys. Uh, 12 days left on... Oh, 36 days under a roof. And I didn't realize something. When I first saw the refrigerator, and every time I kind of glanced at it, I saw one, two, three, four, five spaces. I thought, oh, I can only hold five things? Hopefully those spaces go up big. And we got 483 in this one, so I guess this, they do stack pretty good. I didn't notice that 12 right there. There's actually, you know, three rows of foods here. So in that case, we could load this thing up. I mean, I was thinking the fridge was pretty limited. So I was kind of poo-pooing it off. But uh, we won't need emergency rations in there. But uh, let's see. What am I trying to do here? Cook meals. We could put pretty much everything in here. In fact, it kind of has everything. I see. So if we tear down... Yeah, everything is in here now. Except we don't need slop unless we want to put extra slop in case we make too much at a time but there's plenty of room there for everything on these shelves you know I'm, my mind is thinking rim world style build a, a freezer room we do have refrigerators and freezers and the playthroughs that i've seen they weren't impressed with them but i'm a little more impressed than i think they are <laughs> you can fit a lot of stuff in here so that's um what would i say there 16 things so at least three rows and uh, an extra so let's unfortunately I can't make them move from here to there all I can do is say empty the shelves or keep empty I can do that and they won't put anything in here anymore except I could say just have drinks but if that's the case we can move that up top right now. We don't need that much room. Interesting. Well, let's empty and deconstruct. All of these. Uh, give me all the shelves. Right? Except for medicine, and that should be up there too. I think it's moving day. I think that's our adventure for the day. Uh, shelving units. Um, keep empty and deconstruct. Okay. Does that work? Yeah. Let's shut this operation down. Let's move one of the stoves up here. And the refrigerator up here. And if we can get this guy built, we can put it outside. It'll be under a roof. Let's do that okay new plans so Carter you got something to eat when you're done you're going to cut a tree and you're going to get to work on some flooring Paulette you have been cooking you're gonna do some tree cutting when you're done cut tree Rita you Do we want to do any more expanding? I want you to plant. Too cold to plant. We finally got to a point to where it's too cold to plant. Okay. Any last minute harvesting to do? Are we pretty much out of luck now? There is. Are these harvestable? These came in one last time, but boy, we have a lot of those already. Um, I want to say we could use a few more pumpkins we've got 700 but we've got until I don't know middle of next spring before we can trust that there's going to be another crop grown maybe 
So let's put a harvest order through here. And, you know, let's go ahead and throw a harvest across the smoke leaf right there. That didn't work. That's not smoke leaf. That's cloth blossom. 20% growth. Okay. So, oh, okay. So I can harvest you. Is there any more of that around here that I can get a hold of? Um, let's do this. Cloth Blossom. There you are. And the rest of you are only cut. Okay, so is there any, anything else to use Rita for before we are done gardening and farming and harvesting and the whole works? Um, this group in here, Order Harvest, will do that. Her harvest is set before her planting, right? That it was at one time. It still is. So she's going to heal first. Well, she's going to ranch first. Which means make sure the dog's at least got some food. Otherwise, she's going to harvest and then plant. And if nothing else is available, like dead of winter, she'll drop into cooking. Give us lots of pumpkin pies. Mm hmm. And then when all the meals are satisfied, she'll be delivering all the rest of the building assignments. So that works really well for her. So I don't have to tell her, go and do this. It's going to become an automatic. Okay. So anything else that she desperately needs to get into before it's all gone. Let's go ahead and do this as well. This is probably a couple of days worth because of all the walking involved. But there's that. The rest of this is ore out here. I don't think there's anything else in here that's edible. Do these? Yeah, no more. Wait a minute. So, I thought I clicked on you once before and it said harvest. But if I say harvest here... Oh, now it will let me. Okay. Harvest. Alright. <laughs> Maybe I saw that wrong. Um, okay, well that takes care of Rita. Simon... I got to thinking, I was sitting here looking at all this, and I happened to peek up, and there's still that one little new plant up there that we haven't finished. So when you are in good shape, and you basically are, can you come up and tell us what this is? Observe. And maybe we can still sneak in a, a, a patch of you, or even harvest you. This, I wonder if that's harvestable, if we can get this going. I mean, these are nice blue flowers compared to these. Maybe we can still get something out of them, whatever they are. All right, so Edmund, you are going to be cutting wood like crazy. Why don't you... Where are you right now? You're constructing... I asked you to... No, you did that on your own. Move a wooden chair. Why don't you finish that job and then cut down all these trees and give us a bunch of wood and give us a view... Of what's happening out here and maybe it's time to do a little bit of hunting too and get some some red meat and leather in I think about that as well Kana was needing something to eat a moment ago and is there there is a chair available now come on over and grab a veggie soup please you are transporting so when you're done transporting that and Umar you need to be inside you can get this desk trans or moved that's what can be done. Okay. You can do that. And then you can do in queue. So maybe you're going to do both? Hmm. Oh, that one did get moved. It's done. Okay. Okay. So you can then do that. And that's everybody with a job. No, Khan, I just got food. Okay. So you're going to grab some food, and then what are you going to do? You are going to continue to make us some coats. That's still got to be done. So you need to craft veggie leather. You need to make sure that dog still has some slop. And then you've got to get another coat into the, uh, into the works. Okay, we have 69 bricks. We have plenty of bricks to repair this. We have plenty of wood to repair this. So that's not a worry at this time and the stoves can sit outside for a while until the walls finally do go in the refrigerator can sit outside so long as they're under a roof and won't short out 
I did get the last couple power poles set over here, waiting for those to get built. And this is going to ding at us all day long as we drop trees. Okay, so that's kind of a plan. Once we've got wood down and roofs built, then we can get the refrigerator moved. So, Carter, after that, you're going to build four roofs. Uh, no, you got to build the... You gotta build the floors to build the roofs. Okay, so floors are next. That's already in your list. So, though, how did this one get stocked if that floor is not done? Because it's a corner? I don't know. Hmm. So, while everyone is doing, and they're doing lots, where did Rita ever end up? Rita, you're working with dog. Okay, and that's what I wanted to see. Dog is your first priority, or farming, or ranching, and now you're off to go do whatever. Um, since we don't have a clue what happens with training, are you going to give me any clue? Other than training level three, nothing to click on, nothing, no pop-up boxes, nothing has changed in your description. I still don't know what training level 3 means. This game, I don't know that it has any kind of a tutorial or training or, yeah, I could hit F1 to see if a help pops up, but I don't know what's going to pop up. So. <laughs> um, we've still got all these guys out here, but you're going to ding at me all day, and actually I'm kind of thankful you are. That means we're, we're making progress. Carter's constructing a roof. Okay. Oh, because you got the floor loaded in. Okay. So hopefully by the end of the day, we can have the fridge moved. That's the plan. That's the hope. I was going to put a shelf in here. Yeah, and put blueberries on it because it didn't need to be refrigerated. But we can put them in here as well. That means they've got to walk out. They've got to... Wrong roof. They gotta walk outside, go around, and get the refrigerator and go back, because there's no door on this side. Hmm. That's an idea. Well, okay, this wall's going away as soon as this is built, so this door goes in like that. So there's no point in putting another door there. Okay, that's just crazy. But Carter is actually building a roof here? No. You were just dropping off wood. Okay, good. Uh, pop you. Well, that one is kind of available, but yeah, I want you to build these. So, in that case, oh, Edmund's transporting. Maybe he can fill in all the rest here. What I really want is this one built, and once everything's purple, then they can just build like crazy. So, Carter is deconstructing a shelf. No, Carter, I want you to build this roof. So, go and find more logs on the ground. Good. And then you can hopefully just sit here and work on this. Carter is transporting wood, which means there is a deconstruct order happening. And why is there a deconstruct order happening? Because there must be a shelf. Oh, there's individual shelves. This one right here can be torn down. I see. Or that one. Okay, I, I get it. So... We don't actually need to tear these down. I mean, I figured that would stimulate them to get the shelves emptied faster. But that is going to be a constant distraction. So let's cancel orders and keep empty. Okay, so Edmund, go on. How you doing? You're you're doing fine for a while. Why don't you, uh, um, why don't you construct these floors? Grab a little bit more wood. I wish there was some over here. We discovered Chew Root. That's where that... Yeah. There was some kind of a root vegetable somewhere. I don't know where I read it. It was in one of the very first episodes of the previous series. And the wind is picking up. Something's happening. Hmm. We could have sent Edmund out, and I just realized we didn't. Let's do that real quick. Edmund, come grab a meal and go on that expedition. 
So, where are you right now? You are transporting. Eat meat soup. And then... Do we have fuel? We don't have any fuel. Never mind. We need to think about fuel. Because I noticed something I hadn't seen before. Hadn't paid attention before. I've never really looked at that little symbol right there. You can choose to fertilize these fields. We read about the the manure a strange object and it mentioned fertilizer but i didn't notice how to make that work i figured we'd eventually craft fertilizer on the bench just like we craft fuel on the bench but we can use it directly and grain cob seems like a worthwhile place to use it directly so if actually it really does grain cob does actually only in fields that are not running at 100% already. So growth rate of 80. Oh, soil is 100. Your soil is 80. So you don't need it. Though... For okay, it doesn't actually say what it specifically does. Does it enhance a field no matter what? Or can you go past 100%? You are 78%, so, but that isn't fertilizable. Too cold to sow. Okay. Are you too cold to grow? Yeah, you might be able to continue. Because of rain, 20% growth rate. You, you're still at 80. Anyway, rambling here. Um, we should be thinking about using the manure to enhance our crops instead of making fuel. Which means we just need a lot more bugs. So you are getting there, but boy, that's not going to be enough. Oh, it's really not. Not yet, at least. Um, Paulette's cooking. What is she up to right now, specifically? She is over... Where is she? I can't see her name. Getting... I saw the word getting. There, no, that's not you. Paulette is getting, but I can't figure out where she is. Oh, there she is. <laughs> getting vegetables. So she hasn't started cooking, and we're still at least a day's worth of meals ahead. Paulette, why don't you come on over here and... Where is craft fuel? How come I don't see fuel in here? There you are, limit reached. Oh, that was a, that was a limited thing. Fuel. Um, there you are. It wasn't a until you have. Okay. I suppose we could. You now let's pop into that until you have a hundred. And what's left over goes into the fields for for fertilizing. Yeah, maybe we can share. Okay. So, in that case, Paulette, can you pop over here and make me some fuel? I wish I could say do it ten times. And maybe tomorrow morning, though by tomorrow, we should have a, a bug attack. And then Edwards, Edmund's not going to get going. Hmm. Rita's bringing in some more berries. And that's less than her carry weight, so I'm assuming she got them all. Looks that way. We didn't have any other resources just lying about, did we? And transport has been pretty high on everyone's list, so I think if there's anything left to transport out there, it would have happened. Though I don't know where manure falls into it. I have enabled toxic ash. I have enabled a lot of these and up and picked up. So I don't think it's a transport. Maybe that's a farming? No, because she would have done that right after dog. So I'm not sure. I'll have to wait for someone to do that and then read what they're actually doing. So toxic ash is a blood poisoning thing. It is a resp respiratory thing. Shortness of breath. Moderate pain. Because they're outside. And that ominous noise. And is a crop problem. We need a good rain after that to get the crops going again. 
Um, I wonder if we could lose these if they aren't cut soon. Edmund is moving things. He's not going to be able to go on his trip yet. Rita's transporting slop. Okay. So, Kana made the slop and I guess left it maybe in the bench. Okay. Simon is done with his job up there of... I never read it, did I? True Root. Unfortunately, the plant doesn't itself doesn't seem to be of any use. However, I dug some more of it more into it quite literally and found a developed root system and formation similar to root vegetables they were hard to bite into and i had to chew a lot to break them down i wouldn't eat them like that again but these let's call them chew roots so we're talking about potatoes might have a decent taste when cooked okay so we've got a second vegetable option all right um Let's see what... Hmm, what did that look like? Not quite a potato. A turnip? A sweet potato? A yam? Hmm. Uh, you do... Like kind of the... Oh, you like a lot of areas. Okay. You're 100% all through here too. So we could take you kind of up through there like that we could extend you where am I there into here and go as far into there as it'll let us and let's pop a little more in there I have a feeling this is going to become quite a staple extend into oh into there we're, we're taking these trees down yeah they're highlighted already so we could go as far as I can't see where the other one ends yeah right there okay I'm hearing a lot of thumps a lot of booms veggie armor ah <clears throat> we're up there researching um coats are first though it might be nice to get this upstairs too boy we need yeah we need all the crafting up here we need all of the research up here Carter where are you at how close are we oh You've been in there working too. Carter, you specifically are moving a wooden chair. We like to move, don't we? Mm. Edmund's constructing a floor. Edmund, you come over here and build me... That's not an Edmund. Okay, don't you start playing that game on me. I know Edmund can do this. So you, Edmund, has only got one thing queued up. Grab me all of those. And let's get that bill, get these roofs in. Then maybe we can still sneak that refrigerator in. I don't know. That means breakfast could be here. Let me get this roof down. Nope, can't have breakfast here anyway. There's no table. Um, I didn't mean that one. But yeah, get these five going, please. Thank you. Um, I still don't like this door here. I really don't. Uh, cancel you. That just, that's been bugging me. Two doors next to each other is a really weak corner. I don't want to do that. We're going to copy you and put you one space in like that. Okay. That didn't disrupt anything. It took away the wood from the wall, possibly. Okay. Um, veggie armor. So we've got untempered veggie leather is not strong enough to use it for armor. We just need time to temper with it. So that makes it sound like it's a crafting thing. Craft veggie leather. Well, we already have that. So is it out here? So can I sew boots? Ah, veggie boots for armor. We can do it. Are they all going to be pink? <laughs> oh, we're going to be the group of, of, uh, of oh, seven pink-clad warriors going to battle. I don't know about that. Rita's bringing in the, the pumpkins that she could find. Why does she stop so early? Maybe she got triggered to go to bed. Probably so. But let's see if that means we can throw a few more harvest orders in while we're here. Looks like we can. 
Risk of Meltdown, Paulette. You are still making fuel. Okay. Let's draft, undraft, and you go grab food. There's no food up here. Hmm. And you are going to take forever to get there. Let's draft and run down here. They sure take their time when they're not happy. Crushingly unhappy could melt down. Is the 17 going to drop quicker because you're being forced to run? You're refusing to run even when you're drafted. Okay. That is falling apart on me, isn't it? Um, how can I get food to you faster? Can I get Carter to bring something up to you? Carter's constructing a floor. Carter, I need you to construct a roof. Um, where am I? Roof. If you're going to do anything tonight, you're going to... Waiting for other construction. You're going to... Edmund is still constructing it. Can you do this? You cannot. <laughs> oh, the way this game groups everything's together. Kana is just finishing that coat. Or else she's finishing multiple coats. I'm not sure which. But after all that work, it seems right that you should be the one that gets to wear it. So go put it on the shelf. And... Let's try something. Coats. Okay, your space jacket gets you to heat tolerance, cold tolerance to 46. Oh, that's just the jacket. Okay, so you're wearing this one. 39 and 46. This one is 35 and 39. That does seem better. Why don't you grab that one instead? Though it had a lesser integrity, right? So you're good... To 35 degrees. I do that one wrong. I'll put this one on. And you're good to 28 degrees. Okay. So you already have a better jacket. I see. Okay. Um, so you're 28. 32. You're sleeping. When you get up, Umar, why don't you come down and put this on? Equip beanie. And that will bring you back down into the 20s also. Okay. So Kana's going to grab something to eat. And Rita is transporting. I'm sure she's going to grab a meal. Paulette made it. She's going to hopefully grab a meal and sit down. And let's see what kind of conversations we have together. That was a nice wave. Maybe we're going to be civil. Um... We're eating berries really fast, so kind of pitied Paulette for their old clothes. Ha! 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 Okay. Yeah, just, just sniping each other. Paulette's doing what? She is going to sleep. Why are you running over... Oh, you're running up the hill. Why don't you get some lesser old clothes by putting on so that's the one that you've got no that must be the one that you've got so this one you're going to put on you're right now cold tolerance is 21 your cold tolerance is not going to be as good with this is it but it's going to be better condition oh you're down to 14 now okay well in that case, you should get a pair of sneakers. And... What else is over there? What is that? That's sneakers. That's a hat. We only have sneakers and some coats. Okay. Go put a new pair of sneakers on to you. Now, I wonder if there's eventually going to be a way to... Disassemble these old clothes and reuse some of the fabrics. Kind of tear them apart and get some... Uh, some materials out of it. Hmm. So soon everybody is going to be under a roof and out of the fallout. Okay. Which means no more blood poisoning. We still didn't get this built. <laughs> okay. Well, Carter, how are you? You're in rough shape. Edmund, you're in better shape. Fullness, you're eating somewhere, aren't you? No, you're sleeping. Oh, the rest is going up. Why don't you, when you get up, construct 
the roofs and construct the floor and then I, hopefully a roof falls in line there and then that'll be ready for today okay we'll do it that way otherwise what else could be transferred up there Paulette risk of meltdown she's sleeping though so her rest is going to be she hasn't made it yet okay sleep should bring her back bring this up to a hundred though it's two in the morning is she one of the early risers or late risers that is a problem with working them long and hard Paulette is an early riser she wakes up at two well she'll wake up at six yeah I can see there's a problem there let's do that let's do that there we go and let those who need to sleep sleep I don't want any breakthrough or breakdowns breaks I guess that's what it is in fact I'd like to I'd like to know that I could finish this series and not have any of them ever break that I've taken care of them that actually feels important to me you were doing what right now you were constructing a roof right there lost harvest what harvest is that oh we queued those up just in case all right and that's just probably not going to happen okay we do have a good quantity of that in stock 400 so we're okay um where am i I'm about 40 minutes into this yeah these are all kind of landing at an hour or, or more because i like to sit back and really explore the game as i go so I hope you guys are lock liking the longer episodes because I don't see me breaking that pattern anytime soon. Though it is quite possible that soon I'm going to be shutting down for a while and doing a major uh, renovation project. Kind of just had my timeline sped up on me. Something I was going to do this summer now has to be done this spring. So I have a feeling that uh, another week or two is all I'm going to get here then either I'm done for good for a while or I am just doing one or two episodes a week. I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But I need to renovate a master bedroom bathroom suite from scratch in two months. So that sounds like quite a, uh, quite a project to me. Insufficient fuel 20, which means we're about to run out of fuel. Um, a lot of wind blowing. One of our rainstorms coming in to wash this ash away. Fuel is here, and we're just about done. But that's just the 20 for here, unfortunately. So it doesn't fuel this guy. Oh, we only need 10 more for that. Ooh, what if we put 10 in here and 10 in there? I wouldn't mind sharing it if I can convince them to. Um, as soon as this finishes, how is there any way of knowing? Well, 99%. Maybe I can get uh, Umair. Umair? I'm going with that. <laughs> to swap it out if I can get that to hit. Paulette is still melting. It's seven. She didn't get a lot of rest. You're reading a short story and this is done. When you are done, I need you to fuel the balloon. We're going to go with that. And the other 10 will land over there. And then this will be ready with the, by the end of this day. That's a guess. Toxic ash is not going to go away. Veggie armor we'll do something with eventually. And Paulette is playing. No, drinking. <laughs> yeah, I could have had her get some entertainment. But she went for coffee. Okay. Um, I have to wait for everybody to get breakfast before I dare move the refrigerator because it'll probably lock up all the meals. I can see it doing that, yeah. Dog's up. Dog has slop. Good. And so we are allowing in here slop. We're keeping all of our foods. Just putting slop in here. So he's depending on us to actually make the slop and remember to. So there is that. But he's more of a carnivore than an 
He's more of an omnivore, so I hate to just give him a bunch of berries. That doesn't make sense. And the berries are going to rot out there. So, yeah, slop's better. Kana is transporting the tin. I thought... Okay, maybe I somehow... Had... Oh, you're transporting the other tin. So this is ready. We could do a battle without Edmund. We really could. It'd be nice to get the rest of this done. But it'd be nice to see what that rising column of smoke is, too. Edmund, you need relaxation. Let's put you on the handpan for a while. And then let's put you into a hot air balloon. Expedition, let's see what this is. We have a little less than three days left to figure it out. Edmund has got physical of five now so he can bring back lots I after finding our true root I don't know how many more species of plants are out there left to discover that Rita could accidentally discover with her perk so I'm thinking Edmund is really the best person for our expeditions at the moment okay Edmund's going and I, if I hit send I it's going to override what I've already chosen for him. So we'll wait for him to actually get done getting entertained. I doubt it's going to get in line. So I won't, I'm won't. i not going to chance that. Simon, Simon is doing all the handling. Carter's drinking. Paulette is getting food for. Paulette, can you max, you know, you max everything out? Get in here and get a meal. Grab a... We're down to one meal. Oh, we are. Grab the last meals. How bad are we? We're not bad. Paulette, grab the last meal. Do some punching, if that excites you, and then go back to cooking. Then you will have uh, the ability to uh, get through the rest of the day. So we're not constantly on the verge of breaking. All right, so Edmund is... He had to walk through the entire house to get there because this is there's no stairs over here. Mm hmm What are we researching these days? Oil extraction, which is vegetable oil for applying brute... Um, vegetable oil and the wood press. We're going to get animal fats in a wood press, uh, wooden oil press. And then we'll figure out what we can do with those. But they are both 12 and 6 hours, so they're going to go pretty quick. Then we get into some interesting things. Or do we? Well, the flamethrower for one. Um, I don't know. We might just clean some of these up until we break through. Solar panels are waiting for us to make our first electronic. Yeah, that's still got to get done. But we need coats. So there have been other things to be done, and we need we need meals. So Paulette and Kana are both a little busy. Edmund, you you're good. Okay, let's get you out of here. Expedition, you. Oh, it didn't save it. Okay, send and click out, and that is instant. No, it did let you finish what you were. You're still constructing a wall and not... Okay, did I send Simon? There's no symbol for expedition. Do that again. Thick smoke. Cancel, so it's there. Uh, escape. So why are you ig ignoring all that? So I guess that was already in your queue and it really would get in line. But the nun is what's confusing me. It should have had on an expedition queued, and it didn't. Okay. You are just kind of floating around and checking us out. Carter's constructing a roof. So it is time to get the refrigerator moved over. Though Paulette was going to want to find a place to put this last meal. Actually... If you don't transport it, is it still in there? Nope, you've already got it in your hand. Okay. Um, you could put it on a shelf. That's what I'm thinking. 
So if I were to quickly... Oh. There's no move. Why is there no move? I have to empty you to move you? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Wrong tab. Move. So with that, I think Rita or Paulette will stop. Where am I? There I am. We'll stop trying to load that up. Okay, so if you went over here on the porch, though I'd really like to have you under the roof, which is the whole thing. That's right, it is. So you could just sit right there, which means we need to run power quickly. Yeah, okay. So what do I do with this pole here that didn't quite make it past the house? That kind of stumped me. If I could have just gone one more space. Oh, I did. I did. I ran another one in there. Now, do I have to grab only at the pole or will it grab mid-wire? So you copy. Now you're going to jump. Okay. So we're not going to add any more at this end of the house. This could end up being a hallway and add something else over here, though. So let's give us a little distance and come down and then wrap around. Okay. Trying to future-proof everything. Copy wooden power pole out to, like... Oh, you're grabbing out over there. From that pole. That's interesting. I think I'll go here, though. And that's probably good right there. There. And... Yeah, wedding arch. That uglifies things. Temporarily, we'll just tuck in close to the building again. Like that. And... Oh, somewhere out over like... How do I not break the tree? Actually, if I were to just... Let's see, dump you for temporary, since we're talking temporary. Let's just tuck you right in here and plug things in. Okay, right there. So, Carter, your next job is clearing construction site. Cool. So you are needing relaxation. Let's get you all excited about life again. And then your job is to construct missing resources. Your job is to clear trees. <laughs> so go get happy so you don't break because I'm going to forget that you exist and you're going to get all crazy on me. Old equipment is Carter because he is wearing pants and shirt that's about to fall apart and shoes. And I'm not going to deal with that right now. Okay. Um, oil extraction. We've already read that. Okay, so you're there. We know that fuel is short, but that's going to be done here soon. And that's for this guy, which got 10. So we got loaded. We just don't have backup in stock. You are now pickling. And you are pickling because we're out of bug meat. So we need to come up with another way to make fuel, which is our manure. Which means we need a fuel maker. Kana, you are getting food to eat. And... Getting some excitement in your life, which down here it's this. And then you're going to make fuel. And since I can't tell you to do it twice, you're going to make fuel. Okay. Something like that. Um, though I should have had you make another coat. Yeah. Well, we're a little late in the day now. And we probably need to make some more leather yeah and I can't do that now because you're, it's going to cancel the order okay won't work so dogs out there Edmund is now leaving on its expedition and we didn't see again what, what meals he took <laughs> okay Sakana's so getting that Paulette is cooking we still have our toxic ash blowing and nasty uh, Carter's relaxing Rita you are doing what right now? You're bringing in a whole bunch of buttermelons. 
and you picked up everything that you did. So I'm going to cancel you. No point in bringing you all the way out here for just one more group unless there's more to pick up. And it looks like there is not. Okay. That means you're next heading out to probably there. Boy, I wish that we could put this off another day. We probably could. Is there anything indoors I could have you, you know, toggle you to do? You are... Did that get moved? It's got to be empty to move it. No, it didn't. That's right, it didn't. I just need to assign somebody to do it. Okay. So, in that case, I need Rita to grab a meal. Which is where right now? There? That's coffee tea. Where did Paulette put the veggie soups that she just made? I don't know. Um, food. We have three veggie soups. And you're all in here. Are you still loading that up? So could I have Rita grab a meal still? I can. Move fridge or eat a veggie soup. Okay. So you're going to eat a veggie soup. And then you're going to move a fridge. And let's see if that one just canceled the other order. Oh, you're going to eat... You already had it queued up to eat uh, berries. Yeah, you get a double meal. You're good. You won't have to worry about uh, eating again for another day. Insufficient materials. So that is that. This stove could now be moved up here as well. Though it would be nice to put that indoors if we could. I wonder if it would heat the indoors. Hmm. We'll stick in the corner for now till we figure it out. You managed to get drinks on you. Huh. Didn't plan on that. What are you actually set up for? Everything. Okay. Deselect all. Ooh. And let's put in... Oh, I guess we shut down the others. That's right. Okay. We'll put in... Raw food, cooked food, other cooked food there. We'll put in you two. Just to get those loaded onto a shelf somewhere. Since we told them we can't put them here anymore. We better leave one shelf available for something like that. Um, yeah, let's let's not deal with that there. So that could be cooked meals and medicine still. And it could be cooked meals, including... No. Where's the other meals? Other. Raw. Other. Oh, it's the other other. <laughs> There's another place for those to go when they come off the shelves over here. Right there. Okay. But yeah, forcing them to move from up here, down here to up there is not going to be easy because I can't say unload this. All I can say is keep it empty. Don't put more things on it. So I'm not real sure how that's going to work. That's going to be a kind of a frustrating situation. Carter is cutting. You have wood now. Okay, so Carter, when you're done, specifically construct these poles. Uh, in queue, this one this one and it looks like everything's in queue now okay and your happiness is decent enough you can just keep on going though I probably should have canceled the cutting order yeah uh, Carter okay let's cancel everything wait for you to get out of that and then you're going to specifically move or build this pole and that should have done that one but I can add that and that and this is covered now yeah so that is you're loading up the poles but you probably can't build it till this tree gets out of here ah you can clearing construction site so you still got to cut all these trees down I need an Edmund who else can help you don't like to help but your mood is through the roof come on out and cut some trees 
let's get you outside and out of your comfort zone for a while. You'll be okay. You've got this really great plus 40 still uh, sitting in your stats, so you will be fine. Rita is training. Nobody has moved yet. And that's probably okay because we don't actually have power up there yet. Um, Paulette is transporting something. Are you doing furnaces? Probably are. Handling fireplace up there and transporting... I guess you were delivering hay or something. Now you're transporting tea. What does that mean? Someone dropped some tea on the ground. Probably my fault. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Probably told you to go do something. And you're putting it up there. You know, that isn't that important of a job right now. You've hit the limit on everything you can cook. What does that mean for us? Let's make some new meals. No, we... Oh. We don't have any chew root yet. We don't have any. Rita, I hate to send you out like this, but... What have we got over here? Is any of this harvestable? Of all of the chew roots... That's harvestable. I'm tempted to send you up here just to see what you can do. Can you make the trip? Your, your stats are great. So let's make this happen. Harvest those. And we'll cancel that one little guy. And so it's just the two clusters. Let's do that. Where were you at the time? You weren't that far away. Okay. Yeah. So what's happening with our power? Can we make this happen today? Uh, Carter is constructing power pole by picking up wood. Good. Can you load up all the rest of them? That's only 10. What's a power pole cost? It costs 10. So, boy, I wish I could get you to just load them all up. So, Umar, what happened to you? You are transporting wood. My... I was paused. Okay. So, you are loading it up. Okay. And... Insufficient materials by 7. So we don't have enough to make one more cut. Or one more pole. So let's get you to... Uh, yeah. To cut one more tree for me. While Carter is building the last power pole. And then we'll have power. And maybe we can have someone haul up that fridge before you go to bed tonight. And we'll have meals tomorrow morning. And that is our the end of our second day. Alright, cutting, constructing. You did have enough. Wait a minute. So you don't need to do the cutting. What are we insufficient for? The table and chairs and everything else. I see. So there's still a lot of wood sitting on the ground out there. Ah, Okay. So Akana is transporting carpeting. Oh, loading up for the carpets. Okay. So one last day of... What is it called? Of drowsy... Of... Yeah, we're not going to get it right. Oh, because the carpet is actually loaded in. So we're not getting the negative now. For sleeping in a barn or whatever that, that one was. So Carter's getting the last power pole done. You're transporting 60, 70 to maybe walls or something. And Carter, one last pole. Right there. Construct. It's 2100. And Simon is handling furnace. And when you're done, can you... Simon... Can you, not assigned activity, but you can move the fridge next. So you're going to drop those in and haul out the bricks and the bricks and the bricks and the bricks 
and we've got a bunch of bricks. So do we build brick walls or do we go raid a bug nest? They can now walk from there to there. Let's build some brick walls. House, walls, brick. Yeah, you can go insufficient storage space. There, there. All right, we, we're going to brick that in. Is there any reason to door here? I'm thinking not. I'm thinking I don't want the hot summer air to go directly into the walk-in fridge. I'd rather have the house temperature walking into the indoor fridge. So I'd say that's a closed loop there. Um, what do we just run out of? Roots. No, 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 no. Okay, temporarily open up this shelving unit. Okay, I need Rita to be able to bring these back. So you just got here and you're pooped. Now let's go ahead and make this... Oh, you hit your bedtime. Yeah, we're going to screw up bedtime again. Go ahead and harvest and keep harvesting. Let's watch this happen. Expedition complete. Thick smoke. I'm too late. A mangled body lies twisted on the ground not far from the crash site. It looks like they got attacked by something. I won't be able to scavenge everything in one go, but I'll mark the spot. It'll be possible to return later. Get out of there before you get attacked too. Or bury the poor soul and do some scavenging now. Now go ahead and deal. You can defend yourself. And expedition's under attack. There is a beast close by. I can hear it. It's coming. Low combat skill. High risk of injury. I thought Edmund... Well, that's true. Can I click here? Your combat. Yeah, you weren't... Yeah, let's run. Okay. And so Rita and Simon did not do what I asked. That's what I was wondering about. So you, Simon, going to sleep. You are one more time going to move the fridge. Rita is going to do that. He's got a... Oh, he's only got the crossbow. That's right. Hmm. But his combat skill is now equal to Rita. That's what I was thinking. They're both our best fighters, but neither are actually very good. Uh, combat. Where am I not seeing you? So, hunt, I guess. Combat. Rita's the best still. Four. Carter and Edmund are both threes. Okay. So Rita would be the only one that could have... She probably couldn't have handled it either. Okay. So Rita is doing this. We're going to see if Simon can get out of there. We told him to run. Does that mean that he's on his way? Or we're going to get a report of whether he made it back to the balloon? So remember that the... Expedition for Thick Smoke, which is now Spaceship Debris, needs a railgun sniper and a really good combat rating to go back to. Okay. So, Rita, I know we're running you late, but you made a long trip up here. Let's, let's get this done. Toxic Ash. It's happening up here, too. Aggressive animals what huge mantis really okay get her done 20 more okay haul everything in and then we'll go and figure out what that means you're walking really slow yeah what are you and where are you Alright, you are out here. You're quite a ways away. You're aggressive. You are attacking. Oh. Aggressive enough to attack anything. Hmm. I wonder if this is a time when it would be best to 
do this RimWorld style, the way that I always used to play that game. Don't wait for them to come to you, go and take them out. We don't have a railgun sniper though. We just don't. I mean, we, I don't know how fast they run. We could sneak up there, get a shot, run back, get a shot, run back. But if they outrun us, and our shots are pretty short range. No, nope, that's not going to work. But I don't know if... It doesn't look like they have any kind of projectile. We don't know anything about them. You took a beating, though. And you are going to... Oh, you're trying to fight back? And you're actually... We don't know what's happening to these guys, but we know that you're not going to make it. Yeah. You are... Uh, you're something to butcher later. Poor guy. And they're going after the next one, which means they're going to be heading toward us. Simon is at risk of melting down. He is... He loaded it up. He's going to sleep. So we now have meals up here, but we have nowhere to sit. There is that. We have drinks up here. We have recreation up here. But nowhere to sit. Okay. And we have a nasty attack to figure out by 6 in the morning. I think that's next episode, guys. This one's already gone quite long. So, yeah. So, thanks for watching. It's been exciting. And I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.